my folks? I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Montana 3160 RL. This particular model is in the cafe interior. So as you'll notice, we have two dual opposing slides here really opening this space up and allowing for this beautiful center kitchen island. Uh, as you will see as well, it has these solid surface countertops, looks absolutely gorgeous. Great prep space here, especially when they give you the sink top covers. Now if we take these off, you will see it is a undermount, double bowl stainless steel sink, nice deep bowls there as well. And then you also have the high rise pull out kitchen faucet. On the front here, you see you have excellent storage. You have two drawers, one on either side, full extension ball bearing drawers there. If you take a look underneath, you have some storage right there. Then underneath the sink here, you will notice they have this little divider. What that's for is when you take your sink top covers off, you can actually slide them right in here. That way you have a place to put them. Now one of my favorite things that Montana does this year is right over here, you pull this out, you'll see they have a place for your trash can. So they really do a good job here in the kitchen. If we take a look right over here in the slide, uh, rounding out the kitchen here, you have your beautiful convection oven. This uh, is a microwave, of course, also the convection oven side of things. 30 inches, oversized, stainless steel. You know, it, it can fit a ton of stuff in there, which is great. I like the convection oven. It cooks a lot quicker, easy to clean there too. Right up top, you have a wine rack. Even if you're not a wine drinker, it can still be used for decorative purposes. And then underneath here, you have this uh, pretty backsplash. You have an electrical outlet over there. Uh, speaking of, you have two electrical outlets on the center island as well. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so plenty of places to plug things in here in the kitchen. Also, you have the upgraded cooktop. You'll see they kind of separated this out. I, I think it gives it a really great look, a very residential look here. You have the high output burner right there in the center, and then this gorgeous oven here underneath. Also, additional drawer space right underneath the oven. As we take a step over here, we get into the fridge freezer combo. This is huge, 18 cubic foot double French door style fridge freezer combo. This one does run off of both propane and electric, so you get your options here, uh, which is really nice. That way, you know, if you are somewhere where you don't have shore power, you do have the option still to run this off propane. Moving over a little bit further, we get into the entertainment center. So beautiful TV here front and center, nice and big, easily viewable all throughout the living area here. Right underneath is your sound bar for great sound quality. And then down below is the fireplace. Not only is this great looking with the rocks around on there, but it's also a big space heater. You can see here, it says it'll uh, cover 400 square foot, but you know, it does a good job in this space right here of taking the chill off. So another uh, cool thing about that though, is that is electric, which means if you're at a campsite and you don't have to pay for electric, that fireplace is free heat. Right up top, uh, you have the nice frosted glass on here, a little bit of uh, decor on the wood. Good open storage right over here. Take a look at the other side, little bit of storage here and the multimedia center. That is a radio, CD and DVD player so you can watch a movie there and that is Bluetooth capable. If we take a look at the back of the coach real quick, uh, you'll see right back here is your tri-fold sofa. So the tri-fold sofa is not only comfortable to sit on, but this is the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. Uh, the reason is it uses the cushions of the couch here itself, so it's super comfortable to sleep on. You pull that out, you don't have a big bar on your back or have to worry about an air mattress that's going to deflate on you. Also on both sides, you see you have some end tables there with electrical outlets, so if you have to plug in a tablet, laptop, phone, it's easy to do so. Big windows here as well, huge rear picture window there, gives you a great view outside, also lets in a lot of natural light and you have the roller shades, which are upgraded shade. Uh, you don't have to worry about them uh, you know, snapping and breaking from tension. They work extremely well. LED lights right up above there, uh, extra storage here. Open that up so you can get a look. It's very usable storage, a little bit higher, but you know, if you have a step stool, it is easy to access. And then they broke up the doors, which I like. You have the frosted glass in the center, and then on the outside, you have the raised panel wood. 
Uh, speaking of LED lights, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the ceiling. I mentioned there were a couple in the back, but you will see you have LED lights running the whole length of the ceiling there as well, which uh, LEDs definitely have some big advantages. They use a fraction of the power, which is probably your biggest advantage, but also they don't put out near the heat and they're still nice and bright. But while we're looking at the ceiling, you'll also notice that it is crowned, uh, which is great. Really opens the space up, feels nice and open, which it certainly is. And you will notice we're taking a look up here, not only do you have a ceiling fan, but you'll notice there's not a big white box. The reason for that is because Montana uses a quiet, cool AC. So instead you have your uh, air intakes on the side right here. And this AC is about 30 to 35% quieter than your standard AC, which is exactly what you want when you're in your living area. That way you don't have to turn the TV way up or yell at each other to have a conversation. Also this rear AC back here does have a heat pump. So as long as it's higher than 40 degrees out, you can use that heat pump to heat up the coach. Another thing you will notice, uh, when you take a look right up here, you will see you have the beautiful uh, lighting right here, the, the chandelier right above your center island, which is right where you want it again. Creates a lot of natural light here. Uh, not natural light, but a lot of soft light. It's not a harsh light, so I do like they did that. Then you have a fantastic vent fan right up here. That's pretty neat for a couple reasons. One, it's by the kitchen, so if you're cooking something, you need to get some smells out, open up some windows, you can turn that guy on. The other cool thing though is that is actually wired for a third AC. There's a quiet cool back here. There's one up in the bedroom we'll see a little bit later. But if you want a third one, you can have one installed there. Uh, right back over here though, this is our other slide out, the uh, off door side. You'll see you have your dual feeder seating here. This is great. Not only is it directly across from the TV, which is exactly where you want it, uh, but you have, you guys can see four cup holders here. You have a little area in the center. It's actually quite large for anything you want to store in there. But these are power. So you have lights right here on the cup holders. You can turn that on and off. And then with just touch of a button, you will see it moves for you. So that really is nice. You know, a lot of the theater seats in the RV, sometimes the levers are really hard to pull or if it's like a parachute, uh, cord, you know, it can be kind of tough to pull or put back down. Uh, you know, I know I've seen a lot of people where they go to kick them back and they struggle. Maybe you've had bad knees. This really makes it simple. So uh, I definitely think it's awesome that Montana has put these in. Of course, you have storage right up top. You can see that very similar to what you have across the back there. And then right here is your buffet style table. They have this uh, in a lot of motorhomes, kind of has a lot of motorhome inspiration here. And it's a great idea in the fifth wheel. Uh, what this allows for you to do is, you know, as you can see right now, if you want two chairs, you can have it set up just like that. However, if you do have additional guests, this does slide out uh, right over here. You just pull this out. You'll see it pulls out of the wall like that. And there's also a leaf here that pulls out. So you can get this table, you know, to come out to right about here, which is plenty of room for four people. So uh, definitely uh, a good idea that, and I like the fact that Montana has taken that, like I said, from uh, the motorhome side. You'll see an electrical outlet right down below. So if you need to plug in laptop or anything, you can do it there. Then right here, they've also installed a power tower. So you have your standard outlets as well as a couple of USB ports right there. Then as we take a look here, open this guy up, nice big lit pantry. You can see how much space you have in there. So plenty of room uh, for your extra food stuffs, you know, that you don't have to put in the refrigerator. Then right over here, you have this nice little hutch. You can see you have storage up top. Of course, you have the accent lighting up there. You have a decorative backsplash here, couple extra drawers some storage over on this side. And right over here, you have storage on top, but on the bottom, you will see you have your central vac system. So that way you can take a hose, plug it in there, be able to vacuum the whole coach out. Or right underneath, you have a toe kick. So you can just kick that up. You just sweep everything right in there, shut it down when you're done, kind of like a hair salon, uh, but definitely a great addition to a great coach. Take a look at the bathroom. You'll see right down here, you have your foot flush porcelain toilet. So it is nice and easy to clean. And then up here, we have a nice, beautiful linen closet, plenty of space in there for all of your toiletries, towels, everything else you need. Up top, you have a nice big vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. And then over here is the one piece residential style shower. You see you have excellent shelving. You have your hand wand with a bar and you also have a seat in there to make it easy to shave your legs. 
Over to this side, you'll see your sink top and vanity with storage underneath. And then up above is your mirrored medicine cabinet. If you take a look at the bedroom, you'll see a king bed here in the slide out. It's easy to walk around and provides plenty of sleeping space. Also, the mattress itself is the iRelax sleep system. It's a very comfortable memory foam. One of the most comfortable mattresses I've personally laid on in the RV industry. You'll see on the sides, you have windows there uh, to allow for a nice cross breeze as those windows do open. You have shelves for cell phones or glasses of water, electrical outlets there as well. Uh, and right underneath the shelves, you have the cubby holes. If we take a look uh, right over here, uh, up front in the nose, you'll see nice big wardrobe, hanging rod going all the way across. You do have an electrical outlet in there as well as plenty of space for all your shoes. And then you have a nice big shoe rack right over here too. Now on this side, it's nice and versatile. You have a couple different options. They do have the shelves built in. There is a hanging rod going across the top here as well and it also has washer dryer prep. So again, you get the options of how you want to use it. You can take them out for washer dryer. You can leave them in there, stack clothes on them, hang clothes, whatever you want to do. Then here at the foot of the bed, again, you have a nice window to uh, one more time allow for that cross breeze or let in natural light. TV at the foot of the bed already installed. You'll see it is framed out and they have an electrical outlet here for any auxiliary components you want to hook up. Two large drawers here underneath. Last thing I want to mention, I mentioned it when we were out in the living room, you will notice again there's a quiet cool AC in here so you're not going to have to listen to that loud AC blaring on a hot night when you're trying to fall asleep. And then you'll also see right over here you have the upgraded WineGuard Razar antenna so you don't have to lower your TV antenna back down and of course that will find your local HD channels. But alright folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Keystone Montana 3160 RL, and this one is in the cafe interior. If you're interested in this coach and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.